Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Lucky and I am your discussant for today. Before anything else, let's have first a simple exercise. I want you to determine whether if you have any knowledge about our lesson that we are going to discuss. For our pretest exercise, you are going to identify the term being described. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer on the space provided. I will give you 5 seconds to think of the answer. So let's start. Number 1. What do you call the last climax of New Year Festival and the celebration of Mondam Prayer Festival in Tibet? Letter A. Butterlap Festival Letter B. Festival of Lights Letter C. Janadriya National Festival or Letter D. Panagbenga Festival Time starts now. The correct answer is letter A, Butter Love Festival. Good. Number 2, a decorative art in India that is made out of real gold and silver foil, precious and semi-precious stones, beads, mirrors, and powdered metals, gold in particular. Letter A, decorative knife. Letter B, jewelries. Letter C, pottery. Or letter D, Tanjore and Mysore painting. Time starts now. The correct answer is letter D, Tanjore and Mysore paintings. Very good. Number 3. It's India's most anticipated and biggest festival of the year. A Hindu holiday that celebrates the triumph of light over darkness with fireworks, clay lanterns called dias, and string lights. Letter A, Butter Love Festival. Letter B, Festival of Lights. Letter C, Janadriya National Festival. Or Letter D, Panagbenga Festival. Time starts now. The correct answer is letter B, Festival of Light. Very good. Number 4. Most every Tibetan man and woman carries one. They are used for slaughtering animals, cutting down trees, and other plants. And also, on a more decorative front, as an accessories, with their civil finished, intricately patterned sheets that is no shock. Letter A, decorative knife, letter B, jewelries, letter C, pottery, or letter D, tanjore and Mysore paintings. Time starts now. The correct answer is letter A, decorative knife. Nice one. Number 5. Saudi Arabia's biggest folk and cultural festival takes place for two weeks each February in Janadria, about 30 miles from Riyadh. Trailing horse and camel races are among the highlights of what may be Saudi Arabia's liveliest non-religious public gathering. Letter A, Butter Lamp Festival. Letter B, Festival of Lights. Letter C, Janadria Festival. Or letter D, Panagbenga Festival. Time starts now. The correct answer is letter C, Janadria National Festival. Excellent! For our next exercise, I want to measure your learnings and skills that you understood from the previous lesson. Try to answer the modified true or false in your worksheet. Here is the instruction. Write true if the statement is correct and if the statement is incorrect, change the underlined word to achieve a spot-on statement. Write your answer on the space provided. For today's lesson, we are going to talk about 
the commonalities and differences of decorative arts and festivals of South, West, Central Asian countries like India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Tibet. Let's start with the decorative arts. Decorative arts is concerned with the production of high-quality objects that are both useful and beautiful. Tanjore and Mysore paintings of India have a brilliant jewel-like appearance which is achieved by judiciously using real gold and silver foil, precious and semi-precious stones, beads, mirrors, and powdered metals, gold in particular. Beside the use of primary colors like red, green, blue, black, and white to depict the gods, infant Krishna is often seen in pink with a marble-like translucence while Lord Vishnu and his incarnations are often depicted with a distinctly green body tone. Next is Pottery of Pakistan. It's very famous in the province of Sindh. There is a village called Hala, home of ancient artisans called Kashigars, popular for making pots and tiles of various shapes, earthenware, and glazed ceramics. The Hala pottery is not only liked in Pakistan, but also exported to Europe and Middle East. As far as decoration is concerned, the Kashigars paint the pottery with the dynamic signature colors that are brown, white, mustard, turquoise, cobalt blue, and purple. Generation after generation, the culture of pottery making is infused in the blood of Hala people. Different pieces of artwork is generated including various patterns like flowers, geometric shapes, and calligraphy. Next is jewelries of Saudi Arabia. Geographical closeness to Africa, India, and other Arab states meant that the kingdom's different regions evolved to have their own style of jewelry, heavily influenced by their neighboring countries. The kingdom's central location also made it a trade crossroads for the east and west, bringing further designs influence with it. What fascinates is how the jewelry managed to maintain its distinct heritage through traditional design elements, in particular the use of geometric patterns and in the types of jewelry that remain fashionable. Last is decorative knife of Tibet, are a bigger part of the culture than you may expect. Most every Tibetan man and woman carries one. They are used for slaughtering animals, cutting down trees and other plants, and also on a more decorative front as an accessories, with their silver finished, intricately patterned sheets that is no shock. These daily staples of Tibetan culture are certainly a perfect example of art meets utility. Next is festivals, an event ordinarily celebrated by a community and centering on some characteristics aspect of that community and its religion or cultures. First is Diwali of India, or Deepa Valley is also known as the Festival of Lights and is India's most anticipated and biggest festival of the year. Diwali is a Hindu holiday that celebrates the triumph of lights over darkness with fireworks, clay lantern called Diaz, and string lights. Next is Idil Fitir of Pakistan. Muslim read Eid Salaat then go to places to enjoy Eid. There are games, rides, and different kinds of food in towns and villages. In the city, there is a lot of rush and traffic. In the morning, after Eid Salat, Pakistanis make dishes like halwa served with puri bread or naan. Later in the day, some people give away free food to their neighbors. Sometimes when the mosque doesn't have enough space, people read outside. Janadriya National Festival Saudi Arabia's biggest folk and cultural festival takes place for two weeks each February in Janadria, about 30 miles from Riyadh. 
thrilling horse and camel races are among the highlights of what may be Saudi Arabia's liveliest and non-religious public gathering. Artisans from across the country sell and display their crafts, while some of Saudi Arabia's most talented poets recite their latest compositions. Last but not the least is the Baturlam Festival in Tibet. The last climax of the New Year Festival and the celebration of Mon Lam Prayer Festival. Lamas and artisans make butter sculptures of different figures, flowers, birds, and animals, and display them on the shelves of Jokhang Monastery, which are lit by lanterns as night falls. Some people even make the lanterns with a series of storytelling, the ancient legends of Tibet. Philippines, as we all know, is also a diverse country in terms of arts and festivals. We have abundance of decorative arts and festivals here in our country, but we are going to pick one of each. For the decorative art category, Capiz Shell is one of the top. Capiz is a province of the Philippines in western Visayas, famous for its seashells and pearls. Capiz is also the name of the flat and transparent outer shell of Placuna Placenta, a mollusk found in the shallow coastal waters. The Spaniards started to use Capiz very early for windows, Capiz keeping the sun glare out but allowing the light in. For the festival category, the Sinulog Santo Niño Festival is an annual cultural and religious festival held on the third Sunday of January in Cebu City, the oldest city in the Philippines, and is the center of the Santo Niño Catholic celebrations in the Philippines. So that's it! Those are the commonalities and differences of decorative arts and festivals of South, West, Central Asian countries like India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Tibet. If you have any questions, clarifications, for additional information, let you and your teacher discuss it in your e-classroom. For this activity, you're going to identify the commonalities and differences of the cultures of South, West, Central Asian countries in relation to Philippine culture. The activity entitled, Complete Me. Other than Kabi's Shell as decorative art and Simulog Festival, as an example shown in our lesson, Give one example for decorative art and festival that you can see in our country that is similar or maybe have difference in other neighboring country like India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Tibet and tell something about it. For our second activity entitled Gallery Walk, you will compile all the activities you made for this unit. In one whole band paper, you must put a picture of your output for every activity you finished and complete all the necessary answers on the table. This is the sample table for your activity. In this lesson, you have learned different decorative arts and festivals in India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Tibet. In almost every country, they have used a variety of art elements and principles to express their distinctiveness. If you were to create a decorative art from this three part of Asia, choose only one, what will it be and why? For our next activity, looking at my performance, openly write your thoughts and concept about this lesson using the graphic organizer. Just give three facts I learned, two questions I still have, and one question I now have. For our post-test activity entitled Match and Fill, Written below are descriptions of the arts of India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Tibet. A word pool is given and contains the arts and craft that match the descriptions. Write your answer on the worksheet provided. Here's your reference to verify if your answers are correct in pre-test, recap, and post-test. 
have fun. Good luck.